What does high score mean? New high score, is that bad? What does that mean? Does I break it? Hello everyone and welcome to Veteran Gaming, I am Aaron. Today in Eternal Evolution, we are going to talk about diamonds. I'm gonna give you some tips, tricks, information on where to get diamonds and how to spend them efficiently to upgrade your account as quickly as possible. If you have any feedback that you'd like to throw out there to help the community, make sure you leave them in the comments section down below. If I skip over something or don't emphasize something enough, please let me know and let everybody else know. So first of all, one of the places you can get diamonds if you want to spend some cold, hard cash that you've earned is here in the store. They have the growth fund that the farther you progress, the more diamonds you get. You can flat out buy diamonds, and then they're going to be hidden in some of these packs also. So there's a couple of places you can grab some diamonds. Also, every two weeks, there's going to be a Twilight Lands that lasts for two weeks. Twilight Lands is an awesome source of diamonds. The farther you progress, the more diamonds you will unlock. So it's a really good place inside the game that you can get some diamonds, which is why we just got out of one and I'm up here at 63,000 because we got a lot through Twilight Lands and I haven't had a chance to spend them yet. So now that I've talked a little bit about some places to get diamonds, I'm gonna throw out a couple of the main resources we want to look for when we're spending diamonds. One of the main resources and probably the most important are these red mythic runes. These are the ones that take your heroes from EX20 to EX30, wildly important. These are one of the rarest uh, resources that you're gonna find out there. So every time it's gonna pop up in your wasteland shop, as you can see here, or uh, sometimes it pops up here in the main shop where these elite runes are currently hiding. Sometimes it'll even pop up in Fatty's treasure. Anytime you see those, any, any, any time, spend diamonds on them, best way you can spend your diamonds. Also, epic runes. Epic runes take your heroes from EX10 to EX20. Again, very important. You'll find them a little bit more. You'll get larger amounts of them because it is that middle branch as opposed to the red ones, which are the top. Really, really important. Make sure you grab those. The other ones we really want to look for are the Rubelite, the Soul Rubelite, the Hero XP, and the Soul Potions. All of these are really mandatory to upgrading your heroes. Uh, the Soul Rubelites and the Experience obviously take them up in actual levels. And then the Soul Potions, when you come in here to the Talents, that's the currency used to upgrade these Talents, which became even more important with the EX levels for PvP that were recently released. So make sure that you're grabbing those three resources every single place you can. As far as the other resources like uh, gold or our catalytic furnaces here to upgrade our divine prototypes, I'm not too big of a fan of spending gold on those. The hammers, or excuse me, diamonds. The hammers, again, don't spend diamonds on those. You're going to end up with plenty of those from breaking down gear. The ones I've highlighted there are the ones that we want to find and spend diamonds on. So we got the red mythic runes, the epic runes, and then I'm just using this as a good place to find them real quick. The Soul Rubelites, the Hero XP, and the Soul Potions. If you see those, grab them. Another one we'll talk about for Fatty's Treasures. A lot of times you'll find little boxes that can give you limited recruitment cards. I buy those every time. I'm not going to spend 600 diamonds for one limited card and one advanced card because advanced card isn't worth that much to me anymore after playing for six months. But... I could see where you would have an argument to spend diamonds on that. But if it's those large crates of limited recruitment cards, I always spend diamonds on those. So make sure you guys are checking out Fatty's Treasure. As far as events go, first of all, we'll talk about Rise of Heroes. So I already mentioned that Twilight Lands has two weeks on, two weeks off. This is that alternate two weeks on, two weeks off, Rise of Heroes. Really, really, really important event. And you can spend diamonds up here to purchase more of these tickets, which are gonna help you get more rewards in the shop, and the rewards are really important. Not only are you getting a hero, whatever hero is highlighted during that particular rise of heroes, but you're also getting limited cards. You're getting some runes. Later on, you'll get some gene hybrids, some epic runes. So really important rewards that you can earn here in the shop. So I highly recommend maxing out your diamond purchases for tickets every single day. As you can see on the screen, I already have. Won't let me do it anymore. I put my money where my mouth is. I'm telling you guys exactly what I do, my recommendations. I'm not just throwing out random ideas. This is actually what I do. 
You can also buy more stamina to attack more in Sinsaro Marsh, Disa Caves, Terra Dome. I don't really recommend this unless you are putting money into the game. The only place I would say maybe if you really, really need to, uh, once you get to Disa 10 here, you're going to start getting a chance to get legendary gear. If you are a new count trying to get over that hump, maybe the legendary gear gets you there. You can buy some of these, but for 50 diamonds a pop, uh, it's, it's a little steep for me. So I won't judge you if you do, but not for me, especially once your account gets stronger, you just won't need to. Kind of the same thing for Katosian Triangle. Once you guys are really getting up in your levels here and you want specific gear like Surge or uh, Marauder gear out of the Mirage space, those are some really important pieces, especially for certain heroes. So if you want to throw in a couple of diamonds there, I wouldn't, again, blame you. But they are $50 a pop again, or 50 diamonds a pop. A bit expensive. Crimson Abyss, though, if you guys want to throw diamonds into this, I don't blame you at all, especially when you're building your account. It's a great source of Soul Rubelites, Hero Experience, and the Soul Potions. These are also 50 diamonds a pop, but I think the rewards are a little bit better especially when you have a younger account than just getting the gear. The one place I didn't mention that you can actually earn diamonds is in the arena. So the higher your arena rank, the more diamonds you're going to get every day as a reward. And you also get 150 diamonds just for doing your five attacks every day, which is not too shabby. So total quick overview real quick. We can get diamonds. Massive sources are Twilight Lands and Arena which are free in the game. You can also go into the store and spend cold hard cash to get some diamonds. As far as what we want to spend our diamonds on, grab our mythic runes, our epic runes, and then we want to focus on our soul rubelites, our hero XP, and our soul potions. If we see those pop up anywhere, we want to grab them. Make sure you're checking your wasteland store because you're going to get some opportunities to get some of those items like soul potions and the red runes. And the last area I will talk about is the fast patrol here. Fast patrol is a really good place to get uh, really a little bit of everything. You can get some gear broken down for some hammers. You can get experience, you can get soul rubelite, everything. So I highly recommend spending your max amount of diamonds available every single day. And as you play longer, your military rank will go up and that's how you'll be able to buy more and more Fast Patrol rewards. So there we go. Shotgun Blast. Hopefully this was simple to understand. Eliminate all those other rewards out. <clears throat> Eliminate all those other kinds of resources out there. Don't worry about the hammers. Don't worry about the catalytic furnaces. Focus on the runes, experience, soul rubelite, soul potion, and you guys will be good to go. If you guys found this video helpful, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And as always, guys, have fun. Good luck. So I got that going for me, which is nice.